Welcome to Because. We have a great show planned for you today. We'll start out with Justin as he stops over at Bison's Bluff for the grand opening. Next, John Parsons will be over at Walnut Greens checking out foot golf. And we'll conclude today's episode with Beth Waller as she checks out the Schomburg Idol auditions. Stick around. We'll be right back after these messages. a terrific team of trainers. We all sort of excel in different areas. You need to be paired up with someone who works well with what you need. I would hope that people would want to come to me because of the personal attention that I give each and every one of my clients. I will give you everything I have to make sure that you can accomplish what your goal is. It's a priceless moment that I relish. Hi, my name is Julie and this is Jace and we take time for fun coming to the Spring Valley Nature Center and we came today for the grand opening of Bison's Bluff and it was way fun. Thank WSPD, your place to take time for fun. Hi, this is Justin Sinkwitz reporting for Because. I'm here at the grand opening celebration, an Earth Day celebration, for Bison's Bluff, Spring Valley's newest attraction. As you can see, we have a full house of kids enjoying all there is to do here at Bison's Bluff. It's going to be a great day. Let's go check it out and, and talk to some people. Well, spring has sprung now, at least most days here in Shaman. You know, spring is really about all, getting outside and enjoying all the great parks that we have in the community. And as Dave mentioned, we thought today being Earth Day was a perfect day to have the grand opening of Bison's Bluff. You know, now is the time, I know for myself as a parent, and I know there's some grandparents here that uh, part of our job is uh, getting kids off of screens, right? And uh, we really think Bison's Bluff is going to be a, a critical part in helping us get kids outside and, and doing that. We really believe that the show will get children active uh, time, allow them to use their imagination and develop a lot of important skills. I know I often note that uh, you know, part of what's important to what we do for the park district is making a, a difference in the community here. And I think one of the most important differences we're going to make moving forward is what Bison's Bluff is all about. Because it really gets kids outside and it gets kids active. And that's what we need to be about as far as the park district goes. All right, I'm here with one of our Bison's Bluff patrons. Uh, what's your name, buddy? Patrick. Patrick, nice to meet you. Uh, how are you enjoying it so far? Good. Yeah, what's your favorite part? Um, maybe the, I think the, the rocks with the water. The rocks with the water, cool. Have you, um, this is your first time here, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you think you're gonna come here a lot? Maybe. Patrick, how old are you? Six. Six? All right, cool. Well, it was, it was nice to meet you. I'm glad you're here and I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'll see you later, okay? Okay, bye. I'm here with Brian Bischke, who is the chairman of the Schomburg Park Foundation. Uh, the Park Foundation was a big supporter of the Bison's Bluff project. Brian, what do you think so far? 
Oh, I think it's awesome. Uh, the, the turnout uh, that's here today is, is really good. Um, the, the park couldn't have turned out any better. I mean, uh, uh, the, the, the slides, the, the, the rock areas, the water features, uh, the, you know, just seeing the kids climbing here after two years of planning and construction and everything else is, is uh, worth being out here today. Yeah, so what is your favorite part? My favorite part, I, I really want to try one of these tubes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna me, do the tube slide. me too. I haven't been brave enough yet. I, the kids, uh, I've kind of controlled it right now, but I'm going to come back when they're not all here and I'm going to go down the tube. Sounds tube good. Slide. Well, thanks for talking to us, Brian. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, I'm here with another one of our uh, park patrons, uh, new to Bison's Bluff. What's your name? Brooke. Brooke. Nice to meet you, Brooke. I'm Justin. Um, how old are you, Brooke? I'm eight years old. Eight years old. What do you think of Bison's Bluff so far? It's amazing. There's lots of things to climb on. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite part? Um, right now, I really like just climbing all over these like rocks. Yeah, those are fun, aren't they? Um, do you think you'll come back? Yeah. Yeah. All right, awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you. I'm glad you're here. Have a, have a fun time, okay? Okay, we're here at Bison's Bluff. Um, I'm here with one of our parents. What's your name? Kim. Kim, nice to meet you. Uh, what do you think of Bison's Bluff so far? I think it's absolutely amazing. I've yeah. never seen anything like it. Yeah, it is kind of one of a kind park, right? I've, it, it's, it's very original. Um, so what's your favorite part? Gosh, I, I don't know that I can pick one. I think um, being able to climb on the bison and climb through the, the roots over there mm -hmm. is just pretty cool. But then again, the the being able to bang on the pipes is pretty cool, and the yeah. oh, the the water, and it's just it's all it's just o so cool. overall kind of cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming out. Um, we hope to see you out here often, and uh, thanks we'll here. thanks for talking to us. You bet. All Thank right. You. Thank you. Well, that's a wrap from Bison's Bluff. We hope you enjoyed taking a look around with us today. Um, for more information on Bison's Bluff, including hours and directions. Be sure to check out our website, parkfun.com. We'll see you next time. No need to go away to summer camp. The Schaumburg Park District has everything a kid could want right here at home. Whether it's soccer or ceramics, fashion or fossils, cartooning or cooking, if you want to learn it, we're here to teach it and make sure you have more fun than you've ever had before. Hi! Can you believe the Schaumburg Park District has more than 100 different summer camp programs to choose? Nothing wrong with those camps where you're singing Kumbaya by the fire, but we've got so much more. Summer camp at the Schaumburg Park District. Learn more and sign up online at parkfun.com. Don't miss the fun. This is John Parsons here for Because. We're going to talk today about foot golf here at Walnut Greens. This is one of our amenities that we offer here. It's an exciting uh, format to play with the family. What's neat about coming out Walnut Greens is you can play golf and foot golf at the same time. We have a few uh, competitors here that are going to take place, and we'll have a little action for you as well. Enjoy. All right, first off, we have our lead assistant over at Chamber Golf Club, Chris Phalo. Par four. Oh, and he bats it right down the middle. Very good, Chris. Round of applause for everyone. Belts it right down the left side. Sandy is chasing after her after she hits it. All right, Chrissy, let's see what we can do. She's all ready to go. Excellent. 
our next professional player is up. <laughs> there you go. Very good, Heather. Very nice. Good job. Excellent. All right, Sandy Harris was in the water. We took a penalty stroke. Now she's going to play her third shot. Let's see how she does. We have a lot of encouragement from the fellow, compla fellow players as well, which is great to see. Good job, Sandy. And she moves it forward. Very, oh, very nice. We're getting closer. Off the tree. Oh, on the tree. Bouncing around. This is like ping pong. All right, Heather. You're the pick to click today. Just to let you know. She's currently taking, she's evaluating the elements. Takes this very seriously. Oh, right through the rocks. Oh, off the tree and in the hole. No, oh, oh, behind the tree. She is stymied. Oh, look at that nice little boot. Oh, oh he lipped it out. <laughs> Next up, Sandy Harris. Oh, good job. Excellent. Oh, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, great shot, Heather. Excellent. Good job. Excellent, very good. See if you make three. I know. Right, no Charlie Brown. Oh, 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 <laughs> she choked on the. <laughs> go ahead, Heather. A little tap. Good job. Four for Heather. Very good. Oh, that was like a little extra kick on there. We have video evidence. That should be an additional penalty. Good job, Sandy. Oh, trying to take out Scott along the way. That ball really rolls a long way. Oh, she tries to sneak one in. Almost. <laughs> good job. Excellent. All right, Noonan, Noonan, Noonan. Yes, excellent. <laughs> oh, Sandy rolled it right over the edge. Good job. <laughs> excellent. Good job. How's your experience so far with football? Uh, it's been great out here. Uh, I would like the sun to be shining a little bit brighter today, but uh, it's been fun. So my goal is to keep it away from the water, but I have not been able to uh, achieve that goal yet. So I'm hoping this one's a little bit better. You got a little close to the water in this one, but you're, you're okay. You're in good position. I'm, st I'm mostly still dry, so that's good. So we're going, going for the blue flag. The uh, competitors you're playing against with today, they seem pretty serious about this foot golf. Tell me, uh, how do, you, how do you feel like they're doing so far? Oh, well, they're all doing better than me, uh, and, but we're very, very, very competitive, so it's just a fun day to be out here. Excellent. Thanks, Sandy, for coming out. Good luck. Excellent. Look at Chris Phalo. Good shot. He's got a chance. Oh, rolls it right past the edge. All right, Christy. Excellent, very good, Christy. Gonna take the slope a little bit. Rolls a little bit away from the green. Good job, Christy. All right, Heather. <laughs> Tied for the lead, no pressure. Oh, that's a good, oh, uh, that might roll away from the hole. Stop, down the cart path it goes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> She's running after it, ladies and gentlemen. A little extra, extra exercise. She's safe. She's dry. Yes. All right, Stacy. How are you doing so far? Are you enjoying yourself? Fantastic. This is so much fun. Yeah. Would you expect to see this on a golf course? No, not at all. But it is really fun. Yeah. Everybody could come out here and do this. Th that's what we liked about it. You can bring your family with you and have a good time and enjoy yourself. Yeah, little kids, big kids, old yeah. kids, teenagers. Awesome. All right, knock this one close. We want to see you beat Chris. Good. Oh, no, that's good. That's really good. Easy, easy, easy. All right, good job. Uh-oh, that might be a little strong. Hit it, hit it. Oh, uh-oh, oh, no. Good job, Christy. She's rolling, rolling. Oh, over the edge. Chris putting for three. 
Did he? Did he? No, over the edge. All right, Heather. Here we go. We're going to roll it up there. Good job, Heather. Excellent. Good job. Oh, a little heated. Taps it in for four. Good job. Chris Phelan looks like he's going to have a low score in this hole. Good job. Excellent. Oh, just off the edge. Chris Phelan makes us two. Very good. All right, we just finished with our three holes. How was we, that? We did it. Yeah, it was a, a, we, yeah, I think Heather said it best earlier. We improved on each hole. That's a good thing. So I think probably by the time we did this maybe like 80 times, we'd be really, really good right. at it. So your goal after the first hole is leave yourself a lot of room for improvement, <laughs> you got, yeah. which you accomplished. Right? I think we did it. I think we did it. And and no one had to go put on their waders and go in the water. Yeah, that's a good thing. All yeah. wildlife were spared. Yes. So I think we're doing all right. Oh, well, we thank you for coming. Yeah. <laughs> How did you enjoy yourself? It was great. It was definitely a learning curve, but obviously, you know, trying to keep up with Sandy is the hardest part in any kind of athletic competition. But um, we had some great, some great help, some great tips. So really fun day. Did you guys enjoy yourself? Yes, we definitely do it again. Yeah, well, thanks for coming out. Oh, now I'm getting hit with soccer balls. All right, thank you for everyone for joining us today. To book your tea time here at Walnut Greens, just call the main number here at the golf shop. Tell them you like to play foot golf. We do have soccer balls available for rental as well too. Uh, those are five dollars when. Uh, when you want to run a soccer ball, bring your own soccer ball. Come on out. Enjoy yourself. Bring your family. What's neat about foot golf, too, is you can play foot golf and regular golf at the same time. So if you have a family and they want someone to play golf, someone to play foot golf, you can do it at the same time. So come on out. Visit us. Have a great day. Hi, my name is Haley. This is my little brother, Jordy. would like to take time for fun while playing in the water at Bison's Bluff. WSPD, your place to take time for fun. Hi, I'm Beth Waller, the Cultural Arts Supervisor for the Schaumburg Park District. And I'm here today with the 2017 Schaumburg Idol contestants. It's our ninth season and we're very excited to see the talent that's come out tonight. We're going to have a chance to hear a few of them sing and get to talk to some of the folks. So let's go see who we have today. Sarah, tell me why you decided to try out for Schomburg Idol this year. I really love singing and I thought maybe this would help me get out there more. And I thought, you know, I should probably try out for it and be more outgoing. Wonderful. We're happy that you decided to do it. Is there anybody that's really ever inspired you to become a singer? I love Barbara Streisand. I love her Broadway work. I love her in Funny Girl. And I also love Leah Michelle. I love the way they sing. And they really just made me really want to sing my heart out. Well, Barbara Streisand's one of my favorites. So I'm thinking maybe your parents got you a little interested because you're pretty young. So how did you happen to see Barbara? Um, well, uh, I started watching Glee, and Leah Michelle's character on Glee is in love with Barbara Streisand, and I watched Funny Girl, and I absolutely adored it. Ah, uh, that explains it. All right. And is there anything, like a certain type of music that you just love, or are there a lot of types? Uh, I usually go for pop, but I don't really like country, but everything else I'm kind of okay with it. Okay, so I hope you're ready because if you make it, one of the things that's very exciting about Schomburg Idol is we really force you to try a lot of different types of music. Do you think you'll be ready for that? I think I will. I'm not gonna write you a love song Cause you asked for it Cause you need one you see I'm not gonna write you a love song Well, I am so happy you're back. How did you happen to pick the song you sang today? Um, so I picked it on a whim. Um, it's something to focal point my power. Last year I took all of your critiques in the wrong way. I thought my power was too much and a lot of um, the other contestants would let me know that I was too loud so I felt that was not 
the right way to go. Um, and over the year, I've been really like soul searching and I found out that that is who I am. I am that power. And I've learned how to really harness it and key into it. And that's just who I am. I love it. And you know what? A solo artist has to find who they are. So I am so happy. So is there any particular, I mean, I heard that you did some soul searching. Is there anything that really came out of it this year besides finding out that power? Is there anything else you want to share with us? Um, I really want to be on Idol again this year. I was fourth place um, last year, and I want to sit in that convertible in the parade. I want to wave to everybody. You're the one that I ever needed. Show me love and what it's all about. Well, ladies, Schomburg Idol is really one of my favorite things we do here at the Park District because not only is it a singing contest, we actually try to work with everybody and help you grow. So, did you both know that one of the things we do is make you do all sorts of different si types of songs? Did you know that? Yeah. So today you chose what song? I chose Safe and Sound by Taylor Swift. So that's really a pop song. So are you ready to sing other types of songs? Of course. Oh, wonderful. And how about yourself? Do you like other types of music? Uh, yes, I'm actually uh, classically trained and well, being classically trained, I'm also jazz trained, so I'm really excited. Well, great. And do either one of you have like someone that really got you excited about music when you were younger? Um, both my parents have just put me in a lot of music lessons and I've always loved music since I was younger, so it's a big passion of mine. Well, when I was little, when I first heard Taylor Swift, that's what made me want to get into music. Wonderful. And I think it's going to be a really fun opportunity if you get on the show. Do you think that there's something you can learn from being there? Well, obviously, there's always something that I can learn to be better as a singer. Uh, yeah, that's one of the fabulous things about singing. You just you always keep learning. You've never like you never just fully mastered singing. You can always learn more. And I feel like this experience would just allow me to perform and just become a truly like better artist than I am now. So I have a question. Have either one of you ever tried to write your own song? Uh, yes, I have. I'm a music writer. So tell us the title of one of your songs. Um, my Hearts. Oh, that sounds interesting. Have you ever tried to write anything? Not really. I don't know. We might have to just borrow one of her songs then, huh? <laughs> I'm giving you up. I'm forgiving you up. You set me free. Don't leave me here alone But all that's dead and gone and passed tonight We're here with three lovely idol contestants. Ladies, so it's pretty fun to come out, I think, to audition, but it, sometimes people get a little nervous. Do you think you're going to be nervous today? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just, just a tad little bit. But really, it's a fun opportunity to come out and work on songs. So what did you pick today? Um, I picked Million Years Ago by Adele. Lovely. And what are you going to sing? I sang Almost Lover by A Fine Frenzy. And how about yourself? Uh, Make Me Cry by Noah Cyrus. Oh, my goodness. All these lovely songs. So, you know, if you get picked for Idol, we pick different songs for you. You don't just to get to pick them yourself. So who knows what you might end up with? Is that sound like something fun for you or do you have any problem with that? No, it sounds really fun. And what if you end up with like an Elvis song? What do you think? I'd embrace it. All right. Do you feel the same way? Oh, yeah. Do my best. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, you never know. We might be a hound dog or something. Um, how did you start singing? Um, when I was in second grade, my second grade music teacher told me that I had a voice, so I started taking singing lessons um, a year afterwards. So, Well, how wonderful for someone to notice your talent. I think that's great. How about yourself? Uh, well, I could sing before I could talk, so, you know. And then I started doing theater, and that's when I really embraced singing. Wonderful. And how about you, Bella? Um, a lot of my family sing, so whenever, like, I used to sing with my family, so it was always really fun. <laughs> Got those lips, tell me 21 lies. Yeah, you'll be the death of me. Sage advice. La love, and you can make Jesus cry. Goodbye, my almost lover. Goodbye, my hopeless dream. I'm trying not to think about you. Can't you just let me be? I feel like 
my life is flashing by and all I can do is watch and cry I miss the air I miss my friends I miss my mother I miss it when well, I'm here with one of our great contestants, and I see you have a guitar with you. So can you tell me what you're going to be playing today? I'm going to be playing an original song called I Do that's dedicated to my wife. Well, that's very exciting. How long have you been married? Five years now. Well, that's wonderful. Does she support your uh, musical career? Well, we're both music teachers, so we're supportive of each other's music careers. That's very exciting. Now, is that how you met? That is, we were in the same a cappella group and voice studio in college. Now, I think this is pretty exciting. You guys could have your own reality show. <laughs> Five years of musical career together. <laughs> now, have you written a lot of songs? Yes, I've written about 18 or so songs. Oh, my goodness. So do you think you would like to sing one of those for your first song when you get on the show, if you do? Uh, I hope to have the opportunity to get to do that. That is exactly what I would love to do. And hey, could I have a minute to say life's better with you in it? It doesn't go for granted, all you do leaves me enchanted. Oh my goodness, we have some very talented people this year, and even one returning person, which is so exciting. I can't wait to have the season start. And you know, you need to be a part of this because the voting is not just the judges, it's you too. You get to go to our website and vote for your favorite person. So once we narrow it to our final 12, each round will go on our website and you go on and vote for your favorite person and those people will move on with those combined judges scores and the favorite person that you vote for. So get out there and vote www.parkfund.com. So let's have a great season 2017, Schomburg Idol. Until next time, Beth Wallace. We hope you enjoyed today's show. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget, take time for fun.